Hello, my name is Jerry Bent with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video covers how to change the CMS Supervisor connection settings used to access a CMS server. First, I'll go over a few details about the CMS Supervisor connection settings. Then I will demonstrate how to change those settings. You cannot be logged into a CMS server to change the connection settings. The CMS server's window where connection settings are modified will not be accessible when you are logged into a CMS server. So you must log out to make changes to the connection settings. I will show this during the demonstration. The procedure to change the connection settings is also covered in the CMS Supervisor Installation and Getting Started Guide. This document is available on the support.avaya.com website. There are four types of connection options available to connect to a CMS server, network, serial, modem, and SSH or secure shell. I will cover these options in more detail in the upcoming demo. For this demo, I have CMS Supervisor running and I am logged into a lab CMS server. While I am logged into a CMS server, I won't be able to access the CMS server's window to modify the connection settings. I'll show this by accessing the Options window which contains the CMS server's tab. There are two ways to access the Options window. The first is via the Options icon. The second method is to select Tools, then Options, as I'll do now. The Options window displays. As you can see, the CMS Servers tab is grayed out, so it cannot be accessed. Now I will click the Cancel button to close this window. To access the connection settings, I must first log out from the CMS server, but leave the controller window running. There are two ways to do this. If you are in the process of logging in with CMS Supervisor, click Cancel at the Login window. This will start the Supervisor Control window without being logged into a CMS server. But if you are already logged into a CMS server as I am here, then you need to log out of the server. To log out, click on Connect and then Log Out. A confirmation window appears. Click on Yes to complete the logout. The controller window is still running, but it is not logged into any CMS server now. Then either click on Tools, then Options, or on the Options icon to bring up the Options window. By default, the CMS Servers tab will come up and all the other tabs are grayed out. Now first you need to select the CMS server in the list for which you want to change the connection settings. I'm going to select Harrier from the list. Now click on the Properties button. The connection method for the CMS server is set to modem. If the modem number or modem type had changed, I would make those modifications on this window and then click OK. However, to change the connection method, you need to click the radio button next to the new method. Then the settings portion of the window will update with the necessary fields for that connection type. For example, I will select Network. The bottom portion of the screen now displays the network settings. You cannot change the network address as it defaults to the server name. 
the default network port is 23, but you can change that if a different port number is specified by the CMS administrator. Then you would click OK to make the change. Another possible connection method is serial. I'll select that one now. Again, the bottom portion of the screen changed to the serial settings. You would use this connection method if the PC was connected to the CMS by a serial cable. There are six settings for this connection method. They are changed by selecting the drop down arrow next to the setting. You would need to set these fields as specified by your CMS administrator. For example, if you need to change the parity field to odd, you would click on the drop down arrow and select odd from the list. Again, you would click OK to make the changes. Finally, I am going to change the connection method to SSH or Secure Shell. The network settings display for this connection type. The only field you can change is the network port, which defaults to 22. The lab CMS does use port 22 for SSH, so I will leave this as the default. Now I will click on OK to change the connection method to SSH. Then click on OK again to close the option window and return to the controller window. Now I will log into the Harrier CMS server using the SSH connection method I just configured. To do this, I will first click on Connect and then Login. The login information window appears. I will click on the drop down arrow for the CMS server and select Harrier. Then I'll enter my password and click OK to log in. The connect status messages will display and then I will be logged into the CMS Harrier server. If I had entered any connection settings incorrectly, the login would have failed and a timed out error message would have displayed. If this happens, go back into the server properties window and verify the connection settings are correct. This concludes the demo on how to change the CMS supervisor connection settings. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentoratavaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.